Hi, I'm Joe Lample, host of Growing a Greener World TV and the Joe Gardener Show podcast. You know, sometimes newly planted trees need staking temporarily right after planting. And that's often the case with trees that are top heavy or ones with a large leaf canopy that can catch the wind and topple over before those roots have a chance to take hold. And that can also be the case with trees with small root systems or bare root trees like this one that we recently planted. Those are potential candidates for support. But don't assume that all trees need staking. In fact, studies indicate that trees that are not staked will develop a larger trunk and a stronger root system. But if you feel like you have a tree that will benefit from support, in this video, I'll show you all the steps you need to stake your tree properly. Let's do this. Now, when staking your tree, what do you need? Well, it's not much, just three main things. You need some good strong line. You need some rubber tubing or a section of garden hose works great for that. And then you need some stakes to drive into the ground to secure the line and a hammer or a mallet to do that. Now you could probably piecemeal this from items you already have around the house. But if you really want to make it simple, you can buy a kit for under $10 that has everything that you need to stake one tree. Now let's talk a little bit more about that line that you might be using, especially if you're piecemealing this. The main thing is that you want this to be strong enough so it doesn't break in a stiff wind. And you also want it to be not so flexible that it's gonna stretch over time because that can defeat some of the purpose of the support as well. You could even use wire, but you want that to be rubber coated. But in all cases, to play it safe, you really wanna use that piece of rubber tubing or that section of garden hose around that line where it's in contact with the trunk and the bark. The reason for that is, without this, that line can cut into that bark and potentially damage the trunk, if not kill it. So it's very important that you use this. As for how many lines to run, I like to use three evenly spaced apart on the ground when you stake them in. And that is especially true on trunk diameters of three inches or greater. Now, if you wanted to get by with just one line, you could do that on the smaller trees. Just make sure that that line is on the windward side and that should suffice. Cut the length of the line to about the same size for all the pieces, and it's especially important that that length of rubber tubing is long enough so when you run the line through it, no part of that line is in contact with the bark. Now let's talk about where to position the line. Ideally, you wanna do that just above the first set of branches. Now, if that's not an option, about four feet above the ground is ideal. In this case, that first set of branches is four feet above the ground, so I have the best of both worlds. So now I just wanna feed the line through the rubber tubing, out the other end and around the trunk of the tree. And I'll do this three times. That's good and tight and all that rubber is around the bark and none of the line is. So that's just what I need. Now it's time to secure the line to a stake. If you have a stake that has a barb on it, make that on the back side. And what you're looking for here is about a 45 degree angle. As far out as you can without losing any room to work with, with your line. So this is a good angle right here and about the right distance. So I'll drive my stake into the ground, use the mallet, and then I'll use that barb to secure that line on the backside, wrap it around a couple times, but not so tight with the line that there's no movement whatsoever. Remember, the point of this is to allow a little bit of give. You just want to secure the tree, but you do want to give it some room to move. That's going to actually make the tree stronger. So that's good. Not too tight, not too loose. Two more of those and we're ready to go. One final thought, and this one is really important. Once you have the tree firmly secured in the ground, the line is nice and tight, but not too tight. There's still some flex in the trunk and the roots are settled in. That usually takes between two months and a year. You need to come back and remove all of this. The reason is eventually either the line is gonna cut into the bark or the bark's gonna start growing around this rubber tubing, cutting off the food in the water supply. And that can potentially kill the tree and you certainly don't want that. So there you have it. Staking a tree is a practice that isn't always as important as we think it is. But there are times when supporting the tree above ground is necessary to allow enough time for the roots to firmly establish below ground. And following the steps that we covered in today's video will help that tree establish more quickly while keeping it safe too.